everybody, it's Jeremy. Welcome back to Pathfinder Wrath of the Righteous. This is our Beast Hammer Bard Build episode 3,572,000. That's it. Um, I, <laughs> we're very near, I think, the end of the game, but we've got a couple of things that we're going to try to wrap up. We are trying to finish the end game side quest. And then we're going to step into, uh, back into the Midnight Isles DLC. And hopefully finish that up. So, we're going to see how that works out for us today. We've got a couple of different things that we are... I say a couple of different things that we are doing right now. But really, we are done now with military, which we were doing a lot last time. We have built a bunch of logistics buildings. So, we're hoping that that's going to be completed all pretty soon. Um, and yeah, that'd be the thing. We're not going to worry about hiring people anymore. Uh, but we are going to move the people that still need to move to their appropriate locations. Um, ba -ba -ba. So let's see where things be. Can't do anything yet. Gotta skip. How's it going, Otis Babodorus? Does he? No. Oh no. How how can that be? How can that be? Right. That'd be that way. Famous recruiter. Okay, we're done with that. Events, a daring strike. Spies have reported that two high-ranking demons are currently at each other's throats and their forces are in disarray. The command staff is planning to take advantage of this infighting and is already preparing a daring surprise attack. The officers are asking the commander to determine what should be the main focus. Hmm. Daring Blow Ritual. All units in the target army take 150 times mythic rank physical damage. Okay. Maximum damage to the enemy. Reconnaissance Ritual. All units in the target army receive the studied target. Lasts for seven days. Okay. Adds a bunch of stuff. Increases recruitment. We'll go with the saving prisoners and slaves. Bastion. Increase. We're also going to... Continue? Gotcha. Alright, let's save this and see how this goes. Scorching Ray. Wow. Those Mendevian Cavaliers are pretty decent, actually. Oh, 
Not bad. Worked out pretty well. Hey, we got a level. Ah, fella student. I mean, sure, it didn't work for us last time that I'm aware of, but maybe it'll work this time. I say that, but it's not going to matter in the long run. Um, Which freaking thing were we building at? We were building over here. I want to see if the ship that we are building is done yet or not. Because if it is... Ugh, it is. Not great. So close. I wonder if... I wonder if building stuff, like demolishing stuff and then just rebuilding it, counts. I say that, can you even do that? You can, but it actually ta it's a total wild. It's a feckin' total. No worries. That just means that apparently we're going to have to um... We're gonna have to finish this. So we've got we've gotta pass 14 days. That's so we gotta pass 14 days and then we've gotta pass. I don't care about recruiting him. Two. I do care about other things potentially. Bring the prisoners. Three, sure, other. We're still working on that. We've got two days. Ay, ay, ay. This is, this is a bit tedious, unfortunately. I don't know if it's because it's expected that you're going to take more days to get through things. The Druid! These gloves grant their wearer the ability to ignite inner fire within themselves. While the ability is active, the wearer suffers 2d6 fire damage. This damage bypasses all resistance and, and immunities per round, but deals the same amount to enemies with every melee attack that hits. In addition, whenever the wearer is mounted, they can use this ability on a mount instead of themselves. That's kind of interesting. Um... Whenever the wearer of these gloves lands a sneak attack against an enemy, the enemy becomes vulnerable to fire for one round and suffers an additional 2d6 fire damage. In addition, whenever the enemy who has been hit by the wearer at least once takes fire damage from any source, it suffers a minus three penalty on saves for two. I think the druid. The Grim Druid felt followed the howl of fiery creatures coming from the depths of Baphomet's flame, demanding to be set free. Druid released the flaming monsters, drawing upon their remaining power to fill the unholy relic with bestial rage. Cool. All right. Continue. Every fucking one. All the Azab I don't care about all the Azabas name. I don't. I don't care about increasing. It's in an event every single day. Cool. Every single day. A renowned artisan who forges enchanted weapons has come to the commander bearing two gifts. One blade is old and rusty, the other radiates heavenly light and is incredibly sharp. The artisan is offering the commander the choice of whichever sword fits him. How's the righteous doing? They still mad? <laughs> they still pretty mad. 
we're getting we're getting real real close i'm i'm speeding through uh through days just to progress time so that we can finish up a quest rusty sword radiant sword is this it no it definitely we won't be done tonight no absolutely not but I, i'm trying to be done with all of the quests tonight and the DLC tonight so that we can jump into, maybe not the DLC, but jump into the actual in-game dungeon next time. Absolutely, we're giving them both the Ninio. Give both swords to Ninio despite the artisan's protests. Did you know the rusty sword holds a divine blessing that the artisan has obviously been trying to surpass his whole life in vain? I wonder what happens if we melted both blades together to make a single one. Following Ninio's advice, the commander's loyal craftsman reforced the two swords into one. The upset blacksmith left Dresden cursing that damned airhead. That's one. A brilliant energy magical beast bane longsword. Interesting. Fun. Meow. She wants. <laughs> Where she get that from, indeed. <laughs> Offer a prayer to Shellen. The owner can activate this item once per day. While okay. activated, all enemies in a ten-foot area around the owner must pass a will saving throw DC thirty-six. Holy shit! Or suffer a minus five penalty on all saving throws against mind affecting spells, minus two penalty on saving throws against enchantment school spells, and become vulnerable to sonic damage. Five. Wow. Only a ten foot burst though, which is a little rough. Francis's Mighty Coal. This item grants its will order the ability to deal 10d10 psychic damage as a standard action to a single target three times per day. It's a successful fortitude saving throw. DC 36 halves of the damage. What? What is it? Want to play? He just wants to play. He's just a playful kitty. Want to play? The cursed bard committed many horrific deeds, but his original goal was noble. The priest of Shellen cleansed Francis' spirit, and from now on, his charming voice will confuse enemies' thoughts and bolster morale among allies. Cool. Relics. Onwards. It is kind of nice to be piling through a bunch of the relics. Yeah. Missing in action. A group of crusaders has gone missing on its way back from a dangerous mission. The commander's staff is determined to save them and has offered a number of possible solutions. Form a search party. We get rescue squads. All generals gain plus one level to reduction of losses feat. Okay. Organize a large scale uh, search party. 6,000 logistics experience. Will that push, push me over? We might try to do that anyways. Defi Diviners, energy income plus three. Train new trackers, eight new hunters. Uh, we're doing the strategic routes. The officers will map out all strategic routes and comb the territories under the Crusaders' control. As an added benefit, the soldiers will mark all dangerous areas on the map, which will have a positive impact on the Crusades. Uh, it's not going to be enough anyways. Fuck. Ah! More wine! More wine! More wine! I have no wine currently. I drank all of the... You were there when we got it. I drank all of the wine um, that I got the other night of this bottle. I still just love this fucking label. It's so cool. It's such a cool label. fascinated by the label. Yeah, it was pretty good. It, it wasn't like the best wine in the world, but it also wasn't bad, right? So it was a nice, fine wine. You know? Oh, I, 
Put your butt down. Put your butt down. Uh, I'm thinking of, like, actually, like, doing one of the, I don't know, there's, like, a, I think there's, like, a cold trick or, like, a steam trick to try to, like, remove labels without barring them or anything like that. So I actually might end up doing that. Yatta! Oh, right. We're being attacked. We're being attacked! I've got to actually go fight random demon armies now. I'm happy about it. Except. Sweet boy. We're, yeah, worst that it, absolutely. Worst that it can happen is, is it doesn't work and I gotta buy another bottle if I want another shot. Easy peasy. We are going to Song of the Last Step. I mean, fuck it. These war priests are just gonna immediately die. Yep, immediately die. To be expected. Hopefully the song will fuck everything up. Hey! It's pretty good, but it didn't just like insta-kill everything. A round two, Song of Seasons again. Honestly, Song of Seasons has been kind of busted, this whole fucking game. It's the only reason that I've won a lot of the fights. <laughs> Kiss you. Kiss you. Kiss your face. Ugh. I got cat hair in my mouth now. Yep, he got a kiss. He got a kiss. Man, it's the sacred host. That. Strategic routes. Uh, what do we have? Prey. Okay, this is the crest of the fallen knight. Melander's penance. While wearing this belt, a monk can spend one key to enshroud the target's heart and lungs in the veil of emerald. Affected creature becomes more fragile, getting minus two penalty to AC. It also has to pass a fortitude saving throw DC 19, or all bludgeoning damage it receives is multiplied by 1.5 until the end of combat. Interesting. Or you can cover yourself in an invisible corrupted fire. Under this effect, all of your fire spells deal additional 2d6 unholy damage. You become immune to fire damage, but gain weakness to cold and holy. Well, we'll definitely take that because that we could actually use on Ember. Theory. I say in theory, we could use it in practice as well. Yeah. In point of fact, I might actually put that on real quick. What do we have? Belt of physical perfection? I mean, fuck that. Um... I... Type over here. Physical flow, physical flow, physical form, section. Generated champion, thunderous charging, constitution, assailant, generated champion. There we go. Uh, okay. We needed one more. Ah. Uh, Bastion. Ooh. 
to the cave citadel, I suppose. Upgrade. Enter. And dear lord, I don't care what we build. We've just got to build stuff. Build everything so that our freaking supply or logistics shit maxes out. My god. Okay. Do I have a permit for those? I do not, and I will not be getting one. <laughs> now we just gotta end some freaking time. So close. So... Close! Come on! Decrees! Preachers. I don't care about preachers. Events! Replacement parts. Soldiers are concerned about the work of a suspicious clockmaker. He heals crippled fighters by implanting unknown and sinister-looking prosthetics into their bodies. The troops want to drive away the strange craftsman. Hell no! Banish the clockmaker. Get some stuff. Take the clockmaker under your... They just really want to boost reduction of losses over and over and over again. Like, half the stuff, half the, the, like, it feels like half the rewards we get from these events are like, plus one to level of reduction of losses. Okay. Be way cooler, and maybe one of these options is, like, clockwork soldiers, but we're taking the reduction of losses. Sinister or not, these prosthetics have allowed many to return to the ranks. Under the commander's patronage, the craftsman, who has turned out to be an acad academic, what? Academician? Acad Academician? What? Academician? What? Academician. Academician. Okay. I feel like that word's trying really hard. Just saying. Right? <laughs> like, okay. Sure. Um, alright. Did that. We're done. We did it. Gotta... Now we have to rank up logistics reform. Fate of the remains of the colorless one. Arrows, breastplate, or spectacles. Intermediate step. Oh. Plus five. Go with the arrows. We haven't seen arrows really be much of a thing. The weaponsmiths broke the monster's remains into shards and fashioned them into arrowheads. Sharp and hard, these arrows will pierce any other. Cool. Very neat. Okay. Um, save and... We need to head into Dresden. Nope, not manage. In in incorrect thing. Incorrect thing. Otis, how could you let me do this? How could this happen to us? Otis. How could this happen to Wow. You're moving a lot for me just petting you. Move too much, boy bean. You be moving too much. What's up, bug bug? What's up, bug bug? Keep bored, mama. Rare, rare. 
guess you're probably ready for bed, too. You gonna go bed. Aha! Uh -huh. Alright, it's Captain O. Wait, Captain O'Dan? Wait, no, 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 no. We sent him off to the... We sent him to the thing. Oh, he's... He, yeah, he's... We... I forgot. We sent him to the front lines, and then we went and defeated Karamzadeh's army, so obviously he'd be back, because... Huh. Commander, the army of the Champions of the Abyss has been routed. Karamzadeh has fled to Threshold and abandoned his invincible allies. Odan's pale face, normally so calm, now bears an expression of barely contained exultation. This is a triumph for all of Galarian. We've made it clear to every plane out there that we can repel an attack by any opponent. As long as heroes like our soldiers are protecting Galarian's borders, I wouldn't recommend showing up here uninvited. We've taught the demons a lesson they won't soon forget. The sacrifices we made in this war have thus proven effective. Seems like your path to knock one esteemed Abyss Dweller after another off their pedestals. Who's going to be your next enemy? Lamash to herself? The troops are still in the process of tallying up the spoils, and the battlefield looks like a blood-soaked treasure vault. The demons learned that it was dangerous to mess with those mad Galarians, so they splurged on the best gear. It's all ours now, and we need to decide what to do with it. Are we going to keep these artifacts for ourselves, demonstrate our trophies to all of Avistan, or destroy them in divine purifying flame? Dream has come true. The greatest general of the Abyss is undone. Odan lowers his head humbly. I bow to your strategic genius. Did you find what you were looking for on the front lines? I have not found peace. And my dreams burn still. And yet I found the courage to stand against the flames. Odan looks at you directly and fearlessly, as befits a man who has met his doom and refused to give in. Good for him. Good for him. What are you going to do now? I will go on protecting people, in memory of the fallen, with the glory of the living. My service will not end until I draw my last breath. Carry on with your service. I have become so, thanks to you. Know that I will always remember the one who believed in me and gave me the chance to atone for the sins of the past. The commander gains the armed to the teeth feat, which gain, provides a plus three luck bonus to damage. Oh, that'd be interesting if I did damage. Off to play a bit, gonna lurk. Have a good stream. Thanks for stopping by, always a pleasure. Have fun with whatever you are playing. Place all the trophies somewhere in plain sight as a symbol of our victory. Let our triumph be known to all. Doom to demon's feet unlocks a plus three luck bonus to attack. That could That's more useful for me. Or let the com clerics commit this taint to flame. Plus three bonus to AC. Absolutely. fucking -lutely. That That one. The gods will be pleased with this act. I'm certain it won't go unnoticed, Commander. Standing solemnly, Odan says in a slightly trembling voice, What I'm about to say may be inappropriate, even unacceptable, for an officer speaking to their superior. But I am proud to serve you. When I was a boy, I imagined myself as a general who would give back to the armies of Mindev their unstoppable might. Then I grew up and left those childish fantasies behind. But then you appeared. They weren't childhood fantasies anymore. And I was even able to participate. Could I dream of anything more? Yeah. That's actually touching. At, the la at last, the Crusader army has regained the glory and might unseen since the days of the First Crusade. The trials we've overcome together have made our warriors into ideal soldiers, cogs in the mechanism of war. Good work, Commander. Never thought I'd be interested in a career in the military, but I suppose I wouldn't mind serving in such an unstoppable and well-arranged army. If I were younger, and the pay were higher. I, <laughs> I like what they're saying, but at the same time, I feel like they've forgotten that Part of our army is the Free Crusaders, which is just a wild bunch of nincompoops that I gathered to my side. And traits. And mimics. Hey! Maritanapa! How's it going? Always a pleasure. Hope you're doing well. Thanks for the sub. I do appreciate that. How's it going? Otis Babodery. Otis Babodery. 
Been very, he's been very attention seeking today. Today! Commander, it is an honor for me and for all of your soldiers to serve in your army. It's 3 a.m. and you're heading to bed? <laughs> Absolutely! I'm doing good. Uh, things have been pretty okay at work, pretty okay at home. The only thing that I have really to complain about is how oppressively hot it is right now. So I need the heat to chill out. If not for my sake, then for the rest of the world around me. Um, and other than that, I'm doing fantastic. Tantalizingly close to beating this game. Okay, we are done with the... We're done with the thing, but we didn't trigger... Huh. I guess maybe we we need to spend another... Oh, right. We have to spend... We have to wait one more day for it to swap into... Now go meet us in the in the freaking chambers. And there I am, so. You're just looking at me for. What's up? What's up, kitty cat? I swear. And I swear. This game is just testing me. You're 2.5 weeks through your four week vacation time. Fuck yeah. So your time awake is very fluid at the moment. That's fair. That's very fair. Yeah, when I'm on vacation, I, I tend to be very loosey goosey with my sleep schedule. <laughs> so that. Okie dokie, we're gonna we're just gonna teleport a whole bunch, right? Teleport and go. Five damage. Big dead. Oh yo, we can actually beat this guy. Oh, really? Can't actually can I? Well, two of my people do zero damage. That's not great. That's not great at all. <laughs> I'm glad. I'm glad it only sends little weak stacks out uh, after me, sir. The big sir. Oh, Sir uh, Sir Ravio. Whether we ever really learned her name. Holy bomb. We learned breath of life. Interesting. Hal troops. Yeah, obstacle, yeah, smoke bomb, yeah. I just really don't like this this general style's abilities. They just don't feel good. Compared to the wizard, right? The wizard is just like, boom, set it, forget it, right? You have a 28-hour biological clock. Oof. So when you don't have a kid, just push your waking time three or four hours per day during... There you go. As someone who... that That's... I mean, that makes sense. As someone who only drifts in and out of the stream, which is your only context, you're confused. Isn't Pathfinder supposed to be an RPG? <laughs> Why am I playing Heroes of Might and Magic style strategy battles? Yes, that is a question uh, many people have asked about this particular game. Uh, yay, logistics reform. Uh, <laughs> I'm so happy to have logistics reform. Um, how's it going, Nightcloak? We, uh, there is a, there is the base game, which is Pathfinder, right? A la tactical or tabletop role-playing game, right? Um, Baldur's Gate 3 is out now. Um, but I'm not going to jump into playing it immediately. Oh, thank God we organized the paperwork. <laughs> so, um, there is a thing called Crusade Mode, right? Because you're the, in this game, you're the head of a crusade. So the Crusade Mode is conquering places and building buildings. And you have little armies that roll around a la Heroes of Might and Magic. It's not as good as Heroes of Might and Magic, unfortunately, right? Um, it's it's a little tedious. Uh, it, it could use some more TLC, unfortunately. Um, but initially, it's kind of interesting, kind of fun. It just gets kind of long-winded after a while. 
and it's very imbalanced. Like the the classes and the units that you can get seem wildly imbalanced. Like something that you'll get, you'll be like, oh, this this could be pretty cool, and it'll be trash. Or you'll get something that you're like, oh, this seems all right, and it'll murder everything. So, anyways, yeah, that 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 be how it be. Uh, we are heading back into Dresden and hopefully about to end the end game side quest. There is a, a side quest that is literally called end game and it requires you to maximize all of your crusade statistics. There, there are four crusade statistics. I think it's like leadership, logistics, uh, army, and something else. I don't remember what. Um, so... Have a good one. Thanks for stopping by. And as always, thanks very much for the sub, Mayor Tanapa. Enjoy the rest of your vacation. All right. Commander! Dorgalinda is avoiding your gaze. Her voice sounds hollow. I've been doing everything to prevent this, but the hardship has done its work. More and more suppliers are raising prices, demanding to be paid up front or just cutting all ties. Voluntary contributions are dwindling by the month. It's time for decisive measures or we won't have any means of waging war at all. There's only one option left. Compulsory requisitions. My suggestion is to collect all that we need from the common folk of Mindev. Robbing the people is the last thing I'd advise, but what can you do? We'll say it's a donation to support the war effort. We'll set up a temple and send some clerics to go with the soldiers. The clerics who will agree to go, that is. So by decisive measures, you mean robberies. Then it's obvious who we should start with. The rich and the aristocracy, of course. They've got enough gold tucked away in their castles and mansions to supply our soldiers with everything they need, and still some coin left over for us. If we must rob people, let's rob those who robbed others. Thieves, bandits, fences. That wouldn't be such a terrible deed, would it? Look, Commander, you're an authority here after all. Authorities don't rob. They collect taxes on a not, invo not entirely voluntary basis. Announce emergency tax collection involving merchants and other well-off types. Yes, we're still going to bleed them dry, but at least we're following the law instead of acting like bandits. How has it come to be that we ourselves are now the fellows of the crusade? Rumors spread that the commander was selling the spoils of war on the black market behind the treasury's back. Our army has become known as the biggest gang in all of Galarian. When the fuck did that happen? And why is this like the first I'm hearing of it? What? I guess it doesn't bother them that we're in the middle of this little thing called a war. Okay. I, I don't think I've ever been a fan of Dorgalinda and like what she has suggested or things like that. Right away! Waldorf, what are you suggesting? Where do you go to get money? For those who have lots of it, obviously. We'll make those pampered Mendevian nobles pay up, and all those barons and counts. Anyone with a big purse, really. Can you imagine all the stuff they've got? Our soldiers will be walking around in silk coats and eating off of silver. You're talking about the same nobles who've been sending their sons and daughters to this bloody war for a century. Don't you think they've been paying up with blood instead of gold? And you think those hereditary warriors will give you the keys to their family vaults just like that? The only thing they'll give you, Wolgif, is a sock upside the head. But it looks like that's exactly what you need. Arushale, please interject some not aggression into this conversation. If we have to rob someone, we should be it should be the robbers and brigands. Unfortunately, we come to know many of them well in the time we've spent overseeing the crusade logistics. I mean, it's not that I believe in garbage like honor among thieves or whatever, but let's not. Commander you gotta know what's good for us. We won't step on the toes, claws, and tentacles of some idiot thugs from the back alleys. They'll just upset their higher-ups. Serious criminals and guilds with contacts on all continents. Do we really need an enemy like that? Trust me, Baphomet will seem like a pretty nice guy compared to, say, the Tetrad Consortium or the Council of Thieves. That's interesting, at least. And what do you think? The commander is not some kind of bandit lord got more than brute force. You have legal power as well, so use it. Mindev has lots and lots of rich folk who never donated a coin to our cause. Well, if they won't do it themselves, 
We'll just have to compel them. Use your authority to call for emergency tax collection. It's basically the same as robbery, but at least we'll be doing it by the book. You know, I've always wondered why some people, decent folks all in all, turn into the most cocky pricks imaginable the moment they get any kind of power. Thanks, Lan. Now I've seen how it happens with my own eyes. Hold you. You're talking about just straight up, like, go walking into nobles' houses with armed guards and say, give us your fucking money. <laughs> what are you talking? Oh! I, Wolgif is on a high horse right now that he has no, no reason being on. Orgolinda, what's your plan? The people of Mindev are used to paying for the crusade. They'll do it again. Some church will surely support us and let us act on their behalf if we give them a modest donation out of what we collect. This whole thing is a disgrace, of course. Common Mindevians have suffered more than anyone in this war. Taking from them what little they have left is unconscionable. Yeah, I don't understand. I don't want to rob anyone. I don't want to become a fellow of the crusade. Nobody does. But there's nothing we can do at this point. If you don't want to give up the order now, if you don't want to give the order now, just sit with it for a while. Gather your thoughts and summon your will. Make your mind, the order will be waiting on the table for you to sign. In truth, it doesn't make much of a difference between whom we collect these donations from. We'll be known as muggers all the same. Thorgalinda lets out a heavy sigh. Either way, we'll get through this crisis. It won't be easy, I can promise you that. When has it ever been easy for us? I'll report the results of the uh, fundraising efforts in due time. Which option did it pick? That's fair. Robberies are... That's how that works. Decrees. Yeah, I don't... I don't understand. Wait. Did it... Is it not going to give me an option to choose at this point now? Yikes. Yikes, Otis. Yikes. Let's see what we can do. I thought that she was going to leave it here, but I don't see anything. Here we go. Maybe if we go back out and come back in, it'll trigger. Yeah, that's that. That's been the entirety. So each of the four different branches of the crusade, right, have a head, and there's been these events that happen throughout the entirety, and some of them are kind of fun. Some of them are kind of interesting. Dorgalindas have all been basically along the lines of, hey. We logistically can't support this army, so who do you want to screw over? Like, the whole fucking time. And it just it's feels bad, man, the entire time. At least with the choices that I've, I've, I've picked. Maybe if you pick, like, differing choices, it, it becomes a different scenario. But mine have just felt like crap the whole fucking time. Um, we might have to look. I mean, I assume that there's some way to, like, re-trigger these, but I don't see anything. I do not see a thing. Load times are killing me tonight. Um... Who's the oldest? I was hoping maybe we would like have like picked up 
a note or something? Not seeing anything. Can't make the demons wait. I remember the early days of this city. How strange to think it's younger than I am. First time I've seen it prosper. I hope never to see its final fall. Sad. I hope I'm not spreading sadness around me like a plague. We all must steel ourselves for the final push, but it's not easy for me to keep up the facade of equanimity. In my heart, I can't shake the feeling of autumn. Falling leaves of winter approaching. I suppose this must be normal for an old woman like me. Interesting. Alright, load the fucking last thing that we did. Let's try this one and see if it's prior to the Dorgalinda thing. If not, we'll go back. Odorous. Von Bodorous. Whoop boop. Whoop boop. Beautiful. Okay. Looks like that's a no. I'm gonna go check and see if maybe it's on the table in my chambers. Should we rest now? Uh, nah. Ah, uh, fucking apparently not. Load this. Ah. Uh, this. This is my exasperated voice, Otis. Odorous Bobodorous. What? 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 Ooh, that wasn't very good. No damage hits. Drive me crazy. Voice. Okay, we did the thing. We redid the thing, because we'd already done that thing. It'd be what it'd be. And we've redone that thing. Go back here. Close. Re logistics reform. Fantastic. Come here. Done. The big done. We're gonna. Mighty Tempest. Gonna. Fingers crossed. Probably should have done this ahead of time. I got sidetracked. I I like playing the I like playing Heroes of Might and Magic, honestly. <laughs> uh. No, I actually haven't played a Heroes of Might and Magic game in a while. I wonder if there's a newish one out. Oh, 
why did I just kill my own demon? Oh, the succubus, the succubi I have taken over my my mind. They've taken over my mind. Obviously, just gonna load this. That's not how we wanted that to work out. He didn't enjoy that. Okay, we've got... Redstone. Yikes. Will saving throw. DC is 26. The Lilitu is using. I need to go for the first. I feel like it doesn't matter. I feel like this doesn't matter at this point. We're getting trounced. Trounced again. Bum 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 bum. Inferior parties. The overwhelming shot, perhaps. Um, sure. We'll give that a try. Both of them succeeded. That was fucking worthless. Fucking worthless. Immediately charmed. Not a ring for them. Oh. We might just load before this, because clearly this is not going well. I mean, many of the uh, Crusade fights are puzzle... Not puzzles, but akin to a puzzle. As long as you're somewhat comparable on power level. But this is obviously, like, not a good scenario. Oh, gotta roll low? Are you fucking kidding me? The one remaining Lilitu? Can we if can we uncharm? No. The our marksman remains charmed by the dead Lilitus. Cool. Functionally fun. A single Lilitu charms 299 soldiers. And then both of these guys are charmed. We're fucked. <laughs> like, there's no fucking way. Aya! 
Well, we're not gonna we're not gonna do that. We're gonna load. I screwed myself on that save point, didn't I? My eye rolling at its extreme. I say as I didn't really roll my eyes there, almost like at all. Hey, hey, hey. Try one more time and then we're loading back. Because clearly this was a poor choice. God killed something. God, <laughs> one two. I mean, the slingers rolled their fucking hearts out. It's just these are trash tier units. They do not have any fucking stats. Oi, oi, oi. Oi, oi, oi. Bonus, two saving throws. Fucking hell. I'm I'm being killed by my own fucking units. Like Marksman twelve thousand, Marksman six thousand. Dear fucking lord. My general level. <laughs> and try to give our ranged units bonus to saving throws. The only other thing I can think of doing, I, except for like rolling over one and shout over and over and over again. I don't think a pet Drake is gonna matter here. It's not gonna do the difference. Look. But I think if I do that, I'm not gonna be able to kill the Lilitu, so then I'm gonna be facing three charms. Oh, fucking hell. This. This. Cool. We cannot kill. Sweet. Force failed. Didn't even have. Didn't even. Didn't matter. Fuck this. We fucked ourselves on that uh, save. So we got to go back to where we were. Which honestly isn't super far away, but now it's annoying. 
I feel like half of the damn abilities that you get in Crusade mode are worthless. Right? Like, we... Charming units... Yeah. I'm not a big fan. Like, it's kind of one of those things of most games, for the player, is it's not fun to... Um, lose control of your units, right? Or use lose control of your character, regardless of what game it is. People don't like in a in a regular uh, tabletop RPG. Players hate it, generally speaking, when their characters get mind controlled. So, similar type of situation. Um, it's just it's just in this particular say situation, it's several charmers. And very little to be done about it. I can teleport my actual, like, army up there. My Tokwell army. It'll probably be fine. In point of fact, I might actually just do that. I've been trying to avoid doing that because I want... Just wanted to do some stuff with other people. But, like, I don't care enough for it to matter... You know, this is a trash army, so. Uh, let's... Teleport Pilkwell up here real quick. And this will be, a. Uh... Over in a cinch. Like, I'm pretty sure Pilkwell can just... Kill everyone on his own. But... I actually plan... Ooh... My... Interesting love... My my rangers actually don't do very much damage to the... To the... The lead two. Uh, which means my Brelani are not going to be able to kill her either. Um... Teleport it up there. There's no reason for us to should be like smug about it. Just fucking magic them. Boom. That was Lolito. Lolitos actually are strong. Fourteen thousand damage off of these dragon slayers. That's a chunk of fucking damage. Yikes. Too bad you can't have generals work together to let them share experience until the weaker ones catch up. Yep, absolutely. Um, again, right? Like most, this the functionality of this game's crusade mode is underbaked. It just is, unfortunately. Um, a lot of strategic games do let you do exactly that type of thing. Like, um, obviously it's a very different game, but something like, um, Total War, for example, you can bring, um, units or weaker generals or things like that, lower tier stuff, into battles with higher tier stuff for the purposes of just letting it get some experience and get a little better, right? Like that kind of concept. Definitely something that is applicable. Um, I think actually even in... Um, I mean, what you can do in this game, I guess, is from a conceptual standpoint, I could give Pilkwell's army, right? Because Pilkwell has a pretty strong army, or decently strong army. I could give his good units to a weaker general, so that that weaker general had better units, because the units don't level up, the general does, right? Um, and Pilkwell's fully leveled, so Pilkwell could take a shitty army and probably still just delete everything with magic. So I could do something like that, but that's way more hassle than I care about at this point. Because the, the, the flip side of the Crusade is, is even though it's somewhat interesting, it's, it's very tedious and menu-heavy, and it's not very fluid. So, like, transferring one army to another, in something like Heroes of Might and Magic, it's 
open up a menu between the two armies and you go click 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 done in this you've got to like i mean i guess technically it's open up a menu and click 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 it's just not click 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 it's very i don't know it feels more tedious i don't like how they've done the the unit management in the crusade mode we've read through this That's going to be the end of this video. If you're watching on Twitch, stick around. We're going to keep playing. If you're watching on YouTube, hope you enjoyed. We'll see you next time for load the save number 37. Because uh, I didn't, I once again, I realized I did not quick save before going into that. But why? My brain hates me. See you next time. Hey, everybody. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, consider leaving a like, commenting, or subscribing. It really helps me out. If you'd like to see me live, head over to my Twitch at twitch.tv forward slash the distant horizon.